Hi and welcome to Simply Hype Dakota UK. Today we're taking a look at the Van Gogh Freedom 60 Plus 20 rucksack. Now this is ideal for going through airports. It's got many features which are designed with that in mind. So obviously if you are going camping or touring abroad, it's a great backpack for that. In terms of its specifications, as the title suggests, it holds 60 litres in the main compartment and 20 litres in the removable day sack there, which we'll go through in a second. It weighs just 3.14 kilograms, it's for its size and the amount of features which it's got incorporated into it is really lightweight. And in terms of its measurements, it measures at 65 centimetres by 35 and when it is all stretched out, it does have a depth of 20 centimetres, so that's a really nice size and it is made from a denier material all the way around, so it's nice, thick and durable and also water resistant. So taking a look at it in a bit more detail, I'm going to take a look at the day sack first. So very simple just to unbuckle it on both sides like so. As you can see, it's in position very well, so you haven't got to worry about it obviously falling off whilst you're carrying the backpack all in one. And then you've simply got one single zip, nice big chunky zip, which runs all the way around to the bottom and simply unclips like so. So, you can see, this is the day sack, nice simple design to it. You've got your mesh pockets on either side, obviously for your water bottles. You've got a little hidden compartment at the front there, ideal for maybe putting a mobile phone, maybe a wallet, etc or anything you want to get to nice and easily. And the main compartment, as you can see, easy pull toggles and all the zips, so it's very easy to open up the bags. And as you can see, main compartment, nice big open space, you just need to fill it up with whatever you need. And in terms of its compartments, you've got plenty of little areas, obviously to put paperwork, um, pens and pencils, even a handy keychain hook if you want to put your keys inside there for added security. And just zipping that up quickly. Also got a reinforced base, obviously if you are putting it down on rough terrain. And turn it over, got the usual grab handle at the top, obviously just make it nice and easy to put it into storage. And you do have quite thick and padded shoulder straps on the back for nice mesh design to make sure obviously it's not going to get too clammy whilst you're wearing it. And finally, you do have a few little pockets on the back there, nice and simple, just obviously put something in there because you can get to it nice and easily. So that's the day sack. Coming on to the main part of the bag now. So, first things first, got your little external compartment at the bottom here. Lay that down so I can open it a bit better. Nice big thick chunky zips all the way around and as you can see really nice big open area. Ideal for maybe putting some muddy boots or anything of that nature because it is separate from the main compartment. Put that back up. As with the other, um, as with the day sack you do also have the reinforced base. As you can see so it's very durable if you do need to put this down on any kind of rough terrain. And then coming back a little bit got your main compartment at the top here. Just lay it down so I can open it up. Just got a nice simple zip design. Turns all the way around. As you can see you've got a baffle running all the way around as well. Two simple zips on either side. You see, easy pull toggles again. And it opens up very much similar to a suitcase design. Like I said, very much designed with that kind of flight um, design in mind. Got a nice bit of cord at the top, which obviously you can loosen. Open this up. And as you can see, you've got plenty of storage space to put everything you need inside. You've even got buckle system as well. So once you've got everything in there, you can buckle it up, put this over the top, obviously tighten it all down to make sure that once it is in there, it's nice and secure, not going to move around too much, obviously, whilst it's on your back. And then you do also have a good amount of compartments to put whatever you need inside. You see, nice three big areas. Now you do all the way down to the bottom. So great areas to put maybe some toiletries, anything of that nature. Print it back up. Also worth noting as well, if I just put these together, like I said, very much designed for going through the airport as you do have the padlock system. So the zips come together and you can obviously slip a padlock through there just for that added security. Now, nice design. They have put a grab handle on the side. So if you do like to carry it on its side like so, you can do so. Very thick and padded um, grab handle is there. So obviously nice and easy if you are walking through the airport just to grab it there. And alternatively, also got shoulder strap as well, the usual buckle design on the side, so you can obviously shorten it and lengthen it as you see fit, but nice and simple again, just to chuck it over your shoulder if you just need to quickly get through the airport, for example. And these are obviously removable just by the sides. And then coming round to the back, another nice big grab handle, easy to fit two hands around it if you have got a heavy load now, you obviously want to put it up into storage, etc. And then, as you can clearly see, you've got your flight cover on the back. Nice and simple, obviously, because once it does go on the conveyor belt, you want to keep everything out of the way. And all the straps, um, et cetera, are kept in here nice and safely. If I just unzip it like so. 
also of noting, this section is made from the exact same um, material as the bottom, so it's very durable, so it can obviously withstand quite a beating, which it is obviously going through the um, conveyor belt, etc. And as you can see, really nice thick and padded shoulder straps all the way around. Again, got that really nice mesh material to make sure it's nice and breathable. Got your usual chest strap as well, just the buckle design. And they obviously do slide up and down to get the perfect fit. And you do have the quick adjust system with this. So you just, nice Velcro system, you lift up. And obviously, as you can see, you've got 60, 58 for six, etc. down, down, down. And you just uh, move this up, Velcro it through, whichever size obviously fits you best. And coming right down to the hip belt, and you see, again, really thick and padded design, that mesh material on there again. And you've got a really nice chunky buckle there to make sure, obviously, nice and easy to get this on and off, even if you have got gloves on, if it is cold outside. And again, right now, they've thought really nicely about the lower lumbar area, just to make sure you have got that added support there with a nice cushion at the bottom, just to make sure it's very comfortable whilst you've got this on. So, overall, great backpack there from Van Gogh. Please take a look at simplyhike.co.uk. Thank you.